Welcome to the MH2801 video segment on the generating function of Legend functions. Legend functions are solutions to the Legend differential equation, which is shown here. And it reads d over dx okay, into acting on bracket 1 minus x squared times dpn over dx plus n times n plus 1 pnx equals to 0. Now frequently we see, we see this equation written in the form, uh, in the angular form, which is 1 over sine theta. So frequently we see this, uh, ang the angular form of the uh, Legendre equation as well, d over d theta acting on sine theta d p n over d theta n plus n n plus 1 p n and the argument is of p n is cosine theta being equal to 0. Now both of these are the different forms, different ways to write the Legendre differential equation. Now in our study of uh, Legendre equations and other uh, special functions, the, one of the very important uh, property that we must know is that um, the, these special functions can be described by a generating function. For the Legendre function, the generating function, which is a function of two variables, g, t of, uh, g of t and x, is given by uh, bracket 1 minus 2xt plus t squared to the inverse one half power, and this can then be written as in uh, as this. You should treat this as a defining statement for the uh, Legendre functions that the generating function be equals to an infinite sum of p and uh, of the Legendre functions p and x times t to various powers n. And this expansion holds only when the absolute value of t is less than zero. Now, let's see how we can get the Legendre function explicitly by deliberately expanding this uh, the generating function. So let's clear the screen and uh, do it carefully. So <clears throat> we are given the generating function gtx equals to 1 minus 2xt plus t square plus t square and this is to the inverse one half power and we are supposed to write this as an power series expansion in t so what we can do is we see that this is a we can expand this as a binomial series so what we will do is this we can write as 1 and then after that, we will have a plus minus one half times whatever that is in here. So we will treat this as we will treat this whole thing here as variable z. So this we'll write this as one minus z to the minus one half power, and then expand this as a binomial series. So what we will get is uh, we will get minus two x t plus t square and then that's that's the first term in the that's the uh, first term in the binomial series expansion the next term in the binomial series expansion would be um, minus one half minus one half minus one divided by two factorial and then here we will have minus two x t plus t square squared and then of course the third term, the third term will be minus one half, minus one half minus one, minus one half minus two, uh, <coughs> divided by three factorial, and here we will have minus two x t plus t square to the cube, and so on and so forth. So now. If we want to equate this to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of p n x times t to the n, then what we can do is, at least for the lower order terms, we can compare power by power. 
So P n P0 of x. So let's compare this binomial series expansion to the defining series expansion for the Legend functions. Uh, for P0 of x, P0 of x, this is the coefficient of t to the 0. Now, if you look at the first term and the second term and the third term, we see that they all uh, depends on t. The only term that does not depend on t is actually this one here. So that therefore must be the that must be the uh, Legend function of order zero. Now, what about the Legend function for order one? What is it equals to? We can see here that um, if I multiply minus 1 half into minus 2xt, I will get x times t. So certainly here, I will pick up a contribution to p1 of x uh, because it is proportional to, this term here is proportional to t, which is t to the 1. So let's write that down first. So the first term we pick up is uh, x. Now any other term that we can pick up? No, because in the second term, the this this uh, factor down here is squared, so the lowest power of the lowest power of t that comes out from this second term will be t squared, and the lowest power that comes out from this third term will be t cubed. Therefore, this is it. This is what this is the uh, this is the Legend function uh, of order one. Now, what about p two? <coughs> How does p two look like? P two of x. Uh, here we can see that there's one contribution and that is minus one half. So minus one half comes from the first term in the binomial series expansion. Now here we can also get a we can also get a t square uh, and that comes from the square of minus 2xt. Now we, it, the next term, the cross term would be then be power uh, will be in will be t raised to the power of 3, so that's not that's in p3, that's not in p2. So we just keep this term here, as well as the coefficient outside. So there's minus half, minus 3 half, uh, that's minus 3 quarter divided by 2, so that would be uh, plus 3 eighths. Plus 3 eight, and then multiply by uh, 4x squared because uh, it comes from minus 2x to uh, raised to the power of 2 and therefore this we can write as minus 1 half plus 3 over 2 x squared so this is p2 of x now what about p3 of x so let's see what we can let's see whether we can find out the, the, the explicitly what the the Legend function of order three looks like. So if you look at the zeroth order term, zero term in the uh, binomial series expansion, of course it does not uh, is not proportional to t cube. We don't have to include it. In the first term again, there's nothing proportional to t cube. We don't have to include it. In this term here, second term, that there, there is that the cross term is proportional to t cube. So first of all, we need to write down plus. 3 over 8, that's the prefactor that comes from the binomial series expansion. And then we need the cross term. Now the cross term, of course, there will be two such cross terms. So this is multiplied by 2 and then multiply by <coughs> multiply by minus 2x and which is then also multiplied by 1. Okay, and then that's uh, that's from this term here, uh, second the second term. The third term, uh, the the, the contribution that is has power t cube will come from this term alone. So we need to just write this down. So this is not minus 3, 8 anymore. So here this is 3 quarter. And then here this is minus 5 over 2. So minus 5 over 2 times 3 quarter. Minus 5 over 2 times 3 quarter is uh, 15 over 8. And then divided by 6. So 15 over, so this is minus... 15 over uh, 48 15 over 48 and then uh, this contribution here that is minus 2x cubed okay so we can simplify this a little bit uh, we can see that there is cancellation here and here and here you get 2 left 
So all in all, we will get uh, minus 3 half x, okay, minus 3 half x, okay, and then plus uh, 15 over 48. So here we have uh, 15 over 24 uh, x cubed. which can be further simplified to minus 3 half x plus oh I forgot to multiply by the 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 factor of 8 that comes out from 2 cube so if I multiply that this is and I will get 3 here uh, not 3 here uh, oh what is what is wrong here is that this should be uh, it starts out at forty eight and then divided by eight it becomes six so fifteen over six is five over two x cubed so this is the Legend function of third order and if we so wish we could go on and on and on uh, and if we want to we do this carefully we can also obtain a uh, series expansion formula for uh, p n of x, but it's just a polynomial, so there's no uh, great difficulty in writing down each of the terms. And later on, we'll actually learn an even faster way to uh, get the explicit form of p n of x. If you already know what the explicit form of p n minus one of x and p n minus two of x, uh, you can use the re recursion uh, relations to um, find p n of x from previously discovered uh, this determine uh, Legendre functions of lower orders.